Hello, this is Dr. Hux. Uh, this video will present uh, determining uh, the standardized scores for uh, distribution, uh, their Z scores, in other words, and their percentile ranks. First, we'll need, and we'll be using uh, Excel to standardize these scores. So first, we'll need to copy these tables into an Excel spreadsheet. So we will do that by going over here to cell A, brightening that, and pasting. And there they will be. I'll move that over to give us a little room to see what that says up there. We will be using Excel functions, the f of x function, to help us determine these. The first thing we're going to need to know is the mean and standard deviation. So we'll calculate the mean. We'll go to f of x. And since Excel doesn't know anything about a mean, we'll type in the word average. And average will pop up, and we'll go to that. And we'll move this out of our way so we can see what we're doing. We have it there. We want the average. What it wants here is an array of numbers. Here the numbers are. And we click OK, and we have the numbers. And we're going to reduce the number of decimal points. So the, de the average score for this group of nine scores is 77.2 and the standard deviation will do the same thing we'll go to f of x we'll write in here standard deviation and we'll hit go and we're going to use the standard deviation of a population because uh, we're doing this for z scores which is the normal curve and it's not a sample and again we need the array we need the array of numbers to find the standard deviation of that set of numbers. Click OK. And the standard deviation is 11, and we'll reduce that to two decimal points. Now, when we want to find the z-scores, we're going to use the function called standardize. In the standardize function, we can go here, and we can type the word standardize in here. and it will come up and there it is now what it has wants us to put in here is the value we want standardized to find the z-score for and the first one will be 71 we're going to have to have the mean of the group so we have that and we're going to have to have the standard deviation of the group so we want to standardize the score 71 and the distribution has a mean of uh 77.2 and a standard deviation of 11.72 and uh, I'm going to go ahead well let's go ahead and we get the standard DV, uh, the uh, z score to be minus 0.5 so that means this score is to the left of the mean a half a standard deviation approximately now normally we would just find the rest of these we just pull that down but look we get an error and the reason we get an error is that we have to lock these cells for the district for uh, the mean and the standard deviation so it doesn't when we go move down one cell it doesn't move down here to nothing so here's what we're going to do we're going to put the cursor up there and we're going to hit the f4 key and that's going to put the dollar signs in there for us and f4 again and that locks that cell and it locks it to these to this particular mean and standard deviation. And there are the uh, standard scores, and we see some with negative numbers because in a standard curve, we a normal curve, we'll have some to the left of the mean, and we'll have some positive to the right of the mean. Now, percentile rank. We'll use this again, and we'll go to percentile rank. We'll put in the word percentile, and I'm going to go ahead and put the word rank in there and see what we come up with. Whoop, it said redo that. Let's see if we can find that. Oh, yes, there it is. Uh, percentile, percentile inclusive, uh, percentile rank. There it is right there. We're going to click on that push this down it wants an array it wants a number and now significance doesn't mean what you think it does 
I'll tell you about that. It wants the array. Okay, it wants this same array right here. It's going to serve the percentile. We're going to do it for the first value here, B. And the significance has to do, this tells you what each one of those mean, has to do with the number of uh, decimal points. We're just going to omit it, and we're going to get uh, three uh, significant digits. Now, again, if we try to pull that down and copy those down, we're, we're going to uh, have a little problem. So we need to go up here and lock uh, the array because otherwise it start moving the array down and we'll get a bunch of nonsense. So we'll F4 that and we'll F4 that and we'll leave B4 to vary. It is a truly a variable and we'll pull that down and we will have the percentile ranks. Now they don't look like percentiles, so let's change them to percentiles. Let's do that. And let's add a decimal point, and now we have the percentiles. Uh, there are 25% of the values in this test lower than 71. There are that 98 score, including it, it's in the 100th percentile. The rest of the scores are below it. And let's pick another score here around the mean. Let's do this one. Uh, this one right here, 74. 37.5% uh, of the scores are below 70, uh, at or below 74. Now we can start filling in this table. We For the raw scores, the Z scores and percentile scores, the highest score, uh, we can do this. We can go equal, max, and we can just go up here and put this right well, first of all, we need to come down here and do that again, equal, max, and double click it, and then go up here and push that. It'll give us the maximum score. Of course, we knew it was 98. That's 100th percentile. The median, we can do the same thing. Equal, start typing, and it'll pop up down here. Double click it. Go up to your array. Again, do the same thing. Lowest score equal men now you can look at the table and get these if you want to but uh if you have a large table this keeps you from making an error so now we know the highest score the median score the lowest score the mean and the standard deviation we can do the same thing for the z scores we can put equal max and double click it and go to the z scores and just do the same thing. And uh, there's the highest Z score, 1.773 standard deviations above the mean. That's right out there, way ahead of uh, what the 95 percentile. Anyway, let's see. Uh, median, let's find the median. We'll just put it equal, MED. And uh, we'll double click that. And we'll go back to the Z scores. And then we'll. Put that in there. So the median, the one in the middle, is right about, it's only at about 10%. It's over about 0.1. Now let's do the minimum. What do you think the minimum is going to be? Equal MIN and double click it and go up here and do the same thing again. And the minimum is minus 1.4. So we have a range of minus 1.4 standard deviations up to 1.77. What do you think? the average uh, is going to be. The average of the standard deviations, what do you think that'll be? Well, it's going to be a really, really small number. And so if we'll go over here to the home button and go up here to general and make a number out of this, you're going to see what it is. So that's what the average ought to be. And the standard deviation, what do you think the standard deviation is going to be? STD. And we're going to do a population uh, of those. So I'll double click that and I'll come down through that. Now, what do you think that should be? What is the normal curve standard deviation? It's not 21. Let me do that again. Equal STD. Standard deviation, and let's go right here. 
1. A normal curve, what z-scores are all about, has a mean of 0. The mean score is at 0, and the standard deviation is at 1. You can do the same thing for the percentiles. I'll leave that up to you. Uh, good luck.